7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed is checking out road conditions in Oakland County and joins us live with an update. Faraz, I know now you've been kind of traveling around this morning. You're now joining us from 96 westbound in Oakland County. What are you seeing on the roads right now? So, Jen, you know, things are looking better here in Oakland County, a lot better. I mean, as I just want to show you real quick over here, looking at the front camera, you can see three lanes, you know, at least the, the, the lane that we're driving on right now, that's clear. The center lane is clear. The left lane seems to be a little bit covered, but it's still better than when we were on um, the, the, the road earlier, which was... Uh, where were we, Danny, before this? 696. 696. So that was, uh, that was a little bit... Um, covered with snow and of course we, were, we just drove by no why as well and that was fully covered then we went by uh, Wixom the roads were getting a bit better over there um, but what we noticed is that also as the roads are getting clearer we can see cars picking up their speed and you can just see one going right right now over there um, but uh, you know earlier in the morning I think people were driving a, with a little bit more caution they were driving slowly and that's how one should be driving in in these conditions and of course um, just a quick reminder when you're getting onto the overpass um, or bridges those always freeze first so take your time when driving um, you know on on, on freeways um, overpasses and bridges so make sure you give yourself enough time especially commuting this morning if you want to head out and get somewhere give yourself plenty of time and of course when you're the first thing which everyone has to account for is you will need time to clean your windows and your windscreen i mean i know i spend uh, at least a good 30, 15 minutes cleaning my window for the first time that was a, a different experience altogether in terms of salt trucks I haven't seen uh, personally any salt trucks yet, but obviously they have gone by here. We can see that you know the roads are clear, and of course, um, also we spoke to Diane Cross from M. Dot uh, last night, and here's some advice she had when for your commute this morning. Have a listen. Even if you know how to drive in the snow. A lot of people don't, and so you have to definitely do extra defensive driving. If you've got snow that's maybe blinding you that you can't see, maybe you should not be driving. Now, uh, also a quick reminder from Diane Cross that when you see a snow truck, you know, laying out salts, just make sure you give them, move away from them because, you know, you have to give them way. To, uh, to clear the road because that's very important. That also goes for the uh, you know, emergency crew as well. And of course, um, if you see any roads that's impacted in your neighborhood, then you know, make sure you um, hit us up on social media. And of course, check out our website, wxyz.com for all the latest update as we'll be uh, you know, keeping you posted on these weather conditions. Back to you, Jen. For us, 15 minutes to clear off your windshield. You are a Michigander now. We're going to get that time down. Don't worry. Come back to the station. We're going to give you some pointers. We're going to make that a little faster for you. <laughs>